Jeez, I'm itchy just writing this script. Have you seen these things? Bask in the glory of the Asian giant hornet, popularly referred to as the murder hornet. Gaze into its eyes and feel true fear wash over you. Definitely not a bug you want to go toe to toe with. And with bug season rapidly approaching, we've got some concerns. Yeah, you thought the nice weather was coming with zero downsides? Think again. Hello fellow friends and philosophers and welcome back to the most mind-bending channel on YouTube, Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your voice in the void, Keegan Hughes, and today we're asking a question that will double the terror these hornets strike into your heart. What if murder hornets doubled in size? Nightmarish, I know. Before we get started, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more winged stingers. Outrageous, let's begin. So like I said in the intro, these bugs are well known as murder hornets. Bad name, right? Well, this is just sort of a nickname researchers gave them, and for a good reason. It's a name that definitely caught on, too. How can a real-life creature called the murder hornet not go viral? It's impossible. We'll get to know their murderous tendencies in a moment. Actually known as the Asian giant hornet, these are big, scary-looking buggers. They've got large Spider-Man eyes, orange and black tiger stripes, big dragonfly wings, and of course, a huge stinger and it's packing heat in that butt needle. Some say that getting stung by one is similar to having a hot nail driven into your skin. Just imagine that for a moment. Got a good idea? Never want to go outside again? Cool. The hornet queens can grow to almost five centimeters long and their quarter inch stingers are actually capable of piercing standard beekeeping attire. So the bee suit isn't gonna help if you take these guys off. Maybe consider a scuba suit underneath some hockey pads? Just a suggestion. Thankfully, the murder part of murder hornet isn't because they go around snuffing humans. Like honeybees, there are deaths due to swarms or allergic reactions, but it's not a dramatic number. More folks actually die from honeybee stings in the US every year than people die across the world from murder hornets. 60 to 80 honeybee deaths in the US, around 40 murder hornet deaths across Asia. So we're not in immediate danger. The murderous tendencies are actually attributed to their hunger for honeybees. Yep, these hornets are voracious predators. In a matter of hours, they can take down entire nests of honeybees. They fly in, decapitate the adults, and feed the thoraxes and larvae to their young. Imagine being a beekeeper, going about your beekeeper business, only to discover that your entire hive has been decapitated. That's some psychopath stuff right there. The murder hornets hopped off the plane and said, no Russian. Sheesh. Now, the reason that the murder hornets are such a hot topic lately isn't the fact that they exist. Sure, they're newsworthy just for being little demon creatures, but probably not newsworthy enough to go viral. The reason they're popping up on everyone's feeds everywhere is thanks to some sightings in North America. Yeah, that can't be good. See, nobody wants to get stung. That's the real viral bit right there. What's 2020 gonna throw at us next? Oh, murder hornets. How many posts have we seen like that so far? And I mean, fair. A hot nail in your flesh isn't exactly what anyone wants when walking outside for the potential first time in months. But the real threat comes from the classic invasive species feature. No natural predators, no prey defense mechanisms. These hornets are true apex predators. They're gonna mess the food chain up. In Asia, honeybees at least have defense mechanisms to protect their hives from these big baddies. Check this out. They actually swarm hornets that enter their hives and vibrate their wings so hard and fast that they build up friction and carbon and cook the hornet. Holy moly. Imagine watching that unfold before your very eyes. A honeybee defensive barbecue. It smells like carnage. But in North America, we largely have European honeybees who have no such defense mechanism. In fact, their stingers aren't even big enough to pierce the armor of the murder wasp. And that's bad, bad news. So after some North American sightings in late 2019, researchers went into overdrive trying to prepare for the spring. Asian giant hornets tend to hibernate through the winter and reappear in the spring, which is likely why we're hearing about them now. They've been around, but nobody knows exactly how many or where. Their nests are underground, and it's unlikely that too many of them have stepped out into the daylight quite yet. So researchers have been setting traps and doing their best to keep it from establishing in North America. If this doesn't work over the next couple of years, they may be here to stay. Washington state has similar climate to some habitats in Asia, making it the perfect place to set up a hive. Despite this pile of seemingly bad news, it doesn't appear that the murder hornet is set to take over North America. Some are saying that beekeepers will lose hives, and wherever there are hornets, people will get stung. However, Floyd Shockley, the entomology collections manager at the Smithsonian, says that it's not going to destroy everything. So be careful, but don't worry too much. Unless they doubled in size. Then there could be some trouble. Big trouble. 
10 centimeter Hornets with centimeter long stingers could prove to be more dangerous than, well, really any other sharp ended insect. The decimation they could rain down upon honeybee populations would be unmatched. Double murder hornets could take out North American nests twice as fast and with less trouble. And it's possible that the defense mechanism developed back home in Asia might not even work anymore. No more hornet barbecues. These insects could become the almighty terror of the six-legged world. The danger they pose to humans would increase as well. See, although I did say they're none too dangerous to humans on average, there was one example of the murder hornet really getting its murder on. In 2013, there was an incident in rural China. Swarms of Asian giant hornets killed 42 people and injured 1,600. Experts think that warmer temperatures had allowed for a more successful breeding season and that deaths had likely occurred when workers ventured too far into their forest habitat. Doctors told people to seek medical help if stung more than 10 times and that 30 stings should be considered a medical emergency. Well, if the wasps are doubly big, you can have those numbers. Five stings and you're probably hospitalized. 15 and you might be dead. That's a lot of venom and pain for one human being. Although the larger a creature is, the more food it requires, and this might cause different hives of hornets to compete with each other more often. There would be less resources to go around, and it's possible that half the population could die out. They just can't double up and keep proliferating. So maybe, if we're lucky, twice as big hornets means we'd only have to deal with half as many which isn't the worst deal in the world. Plus, they'd be easier to notice and track, potentially leading more researchers to setting traps and preventing the spread. Seems like a fair trade. Now, it's not really possible for these hornets to double in size. Sure, their population size could grow, but their actual physical bodies aren't gonna change too dramatically, unless someone exposes them to gamma rays or a Doofenshmirtz biginator, which, again, not very likely. So try not to worry too much about the implications of an extra large murder hornet, and instead put your faith in the entomologists and researchers who are doing their best to keep us and our honeybees safe. And if you see a murder hornet, you should report it to your local agriculture department. In the meantime, you can check out Coyote Peterson willingly exposing himself to a sting just to see what you're really up against. Sheesh. So that's that. We learned a little about the hornets. We thought a little about what might happen if they were twice as big. So what do you think about them? Are they more or less dangerous than people are making them out to be? Have you seen one yet? Do you predict that they might indeed double in size? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Speaking of comments, let's take a look at some of the more acidic ones from what if Kim Jong-un is still alive. Enraged boy is my Insta says, nah man, he's still alive, he's just playing some Animal Crossing at home. I guess the digital people under his rule are a little easier to deal with than the real ones, eh? Johnny Clash says, he's with Rodman, shooting some hoops. You think Kim has a slick jump shot, or is he just constantly racking up layups? Captain Unity says, nah, I doubt he's alive, I saw James Franco shoot him in a helicopter with a tank. Was Katy Perry's firework playing when that happened? Did you see it play out in super slow motion? Justin Smith says, I'm okay folks, I'm here having pizza in Uncle Joe's basement. Oh, thank goodness, Justin man, we were worried sick about you. I'm glad you're safe with Uncle Joe. What kind of pizza though? And Jonathan Jackson says, what if Michael Jackson was still alive? Well, we'd have another decade worth of hits. And that's all the time we have for today. Before I go gentle into that good night, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more insane insects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.